Hello and welcome back to Wireman's Whimsy. This is alternate number two using elements from the Home for the Holidays October 2023 paper pumpkin kit. So what have I got here? I have got a tent fold uh, standard card base. I have the front of one of the cards and I have used the largest of the stitched shapes circles or stylish shapes circle to cut out the this piece and I took one of the these pieces and used the same circle die to cut out the house. I've taken one of the uh, sparkling banners and I've cut it in half so that I can have it go across the bottom of the card and I'm going to stamp the greeting or I've, sorry I already have stamped the greeting out of one of the leftover pieces from the previous card and used uh, one of the stylish shapes banner dies for that. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Originally, I was going to take one of the existing cards and put this over top and pop this out, but then I thought I can make the kit go further if I just do it this way. So I am going to just adhere this to the front of my card. My tape runner doesn't seem to be wanting to play the game. So there we go, just like that. Okay, so make sure I've got this the right way around. And this is a really close fit because it's the card front and I haven't sized it down. So we're just gonna pop that down like that. So we've got our card front, it's a little bit off at the top, but that will be all right. Uh, what I need to do is I need to, um, I'm going to flat mount this piece onto the circle here. So I'm going to line it up so that the trees kind of line up and that I can see a little bit of the moon like that. So we've got uh, the trees in behind here. It's a little bit uh, of an edge around there, but that's okay. And then I'm going to dimensionalize this piece. So that whole piece is going to lift up from the background. And then I'm going to uh, decide where my banner is going to go and stick everything down. So this comes in here and I want to make sure I'm kind of lining up properly with a, the circle, and B, where everything is. So I've got this. So that's kind of really popped it out of the card itself. And I'm, should I put another one in? I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, if you do it on the other background, you won't see any of the white shadow in behind. Um, so that's your choice if you want to have the white shadow in behind or um, just mount it on uh, one of these card bases instead of the one you've circle dyed out of it. Um, so I need to decide where my greeting's going to go. And I think I'd like my greeting to kind of overlap here a little bit, uh, but not a lot. So I'm going to just put some adhesive on the back of these pieces like that. Just like that, okay. So then I know that I want this to go here. So my banners are going to go along below here. So I'm just going to pop this along here like this. And then this one will bump up right against it like that, making sure I'm still straight. And I need this one, if I can peel it off, to come over almost to the edge because when you cut it it actually does go the full width so let's try this now there we go so I've got that banner all the way across the bottom I'm going to put some dimensionals on this piece but right out at the edges so that it can kind of lay over top of here without doubling up and then this will sit like this. 
and it's going to sit above that banner and it just basically underscores it. I'm just gonna push that edge up so that the edges meet. There we go. And because it's a sparkly paper, you can't actually see the join, so it works out really well. Um, we could put some bling in here. Um, you can use your uh, glitter glue to add uh, a little bit. I think I might actually put some glitter glue on here just around the rooftop of the house just to kind of pick up that bling at the bottom there. So we'll do this and then we'll do the window sills as well. And just above the door. Okay. So again, you can bling this up. You can do whatever you like. I used uh, Misty Moonlight for the greeting. Um, and that is alternate number two using elements from the Paper Pumpkin Kit for October called Home for the Holidays and then pulling in a couple of the dies. So thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more alternates.